you always had some, Greg, some misgivings about Kaepernick. You you were, you know, I, I went full bore into it. I was a sucker. You were not. But he did get to a Super Bowl, Greg. When you when I say Colin Kaepernick to you, what do you think? Well, his development, unfortunately, went in the wrong direction. Right. He, he became a quarterback that, uh, uh, well, he was a limited thrower to begin with, even even when he played well. He's a power thrower. He could throw the ball at the intermediate and deeper levels. He does not throw with a lot of pace or touch. Um, I think that he started to really struggle with concepts because they really simplified everything for him in San Francisco to yes. try to get him to be effective and efficient, and he even struggled with that. So, uh I guess he does need a new coach, clearly. There's a question as to whether he would be there. I think if you're going to hire Chip Kelly, though, when you hire – and we've discussed this, Colin. When you hire Chip Kelly as a coach because he's so beholden to the, to the speed-tempo offense – they have a lot of draft choices. You need to draft defense because you're going to have to play a lot of defensive players. The Eagles this year played the equivalent of almost three more games than, than I believe any other defense because you play so many snaps on defense, you need to have a major rotation on the defensive side of the ball. So the people who just talk about Chip Kelly and the offense, to me, are missing the point when he's the, the coach because that offense – overtakes your entire organization and all organization decisions stem just from the way you play offense.